I want to share with you the evolution of a brand new product that I just finished yesterday. It all started about 15 years ago when I bought my first old Mercedes diesel. And this is the first thing I had to learn how to use. I heard about the magic powers of diesel purge and I had to figure out some way to get a bottle to capture the fluid as it was running through the engine and coming back on the return line. So that is the first product I came up with, a diesel purge capture tank. But over the years, I decided I needed something better. In this video, I'm going to show you kind of the steps I went through to arrive at the final new product. The first bottle I did was designed solely for the purpose of doing a diesel purge. And I just took a large drink bottle, cut a little slit in the top, and shoved in a hose where it could pick up the fuel here at the bottom of the bottle. And then I would run the return line back into the top and allow the diesel purge to run through the engine. You can see how you could fit this bottle anywhere close to the injection pump and it worked fine, although it did have a problem. It tended to leak out this hole if you overfilled it and of course you did not want to drop this bottle or you would have fuel all over the place. Then followed a larger fuel tank. I thought, well, the bottle's got some restrictions so why not come up with a tank that had a lid on it and I could get a little more diesel purge in it. And then I began to think about, well, this could become a troubleshooting fuel tank as well as an emergency fuel tank. The problem with this tank was, you see, you had to get all these connectors. You had to have a return line. You had to have a vent hole here. And then you had to have an outlet here. But the more I tried this on different cars, this was very difficult to fit. You can see in this uh, 300 SDL here that yeah, you kind of had to work around finding a good place for it. And in some cars, it would literally not fit. So I set out on the search to find a narrow bottle. And we were actually able to find a bottle with two caps on it, which allowed me to have one for the return fuel and one for the pickup. What was nice about this bottle was it was narrow enough that you could fit it down in almost any engine compartment. And you can see it had these twin chambers here, which allowed me, particularly when doing a diesel purge, to see how the fuel was running clear as it came into this smaller chamber here. But the restriction on this bottle was the fittings were going straight out the top. So a lot of times I'd try to close the hood down on this and it wouldn't work. Because really what I was after now as I thought through this whole evolution, I wanted a bottle that be could become an emergency fuel tank for an older Mercedes diesel. Something that you could carry in your trunk, pull it out of the trunk and hook it up to the engine when you had problems with you know, fuel tank or bad fuel or running out of fuel. And so I set about to make some refinements and came up with the final tank design. Now we were able to get 90 degree fittings coming out of the caps which allowed me to close the hood with less restriction. Another couple of key features is we did have to have a way to vent the tank when you were running fuel in it. And I decided it was necessary to have a filter inside the tank. So on the pickup hose coming out of the bottom of the tank, we have installed a very fine pre-filter to protect your injection pump. So now I have a product. And we're going to take this thing on a road test and just see how far I can drive on this new purge fuel emergency and backup fuel tank. I've thoroughly tested this new tank and the results are quite impressive. I've chosen to call it the diesel emergency fuel tank. Now, true, it will function as an emergency fuel tank. You can keep this full of, of two liters of diesel fuel, keep it in your trunk. And if you ever have a problem with your engine, and you're not sure whether it's filters, fuel, fuel tank screen, or whatever, you can get out of your car and on the road, you can hook this up in just a few minutes and be on your way. And with two liters, you can drive a long distance. But it also functions as a troubleshooting tank. If, you're not, if your engine is developing uh, problems, doesn't develop full power, you can use this tank, hook it up directly, and run your engine, actually drive it down the road to try to determine whether the problems with something in the fuel system, the fuel tank, the fuel pump, etc. And finally, of course, it serves its function as the old diesel purge tank. And you can literally do a diesel purge now 
very quickly and with almost no mess at all. But there's one other thing you're going to need if you're going to use this for an emergency fuel tank. There's, it's no good to have this in your trunk, go down the road, run out of fuel, and literally, if you run out of fuel, this will work if you don't have some tools. And you don't need a lot of tools, but there's a couple things you will need. You will need a 17 millimeter wrench to break those injector lines to bleed the system. You're going to need a multi-purpose screwdriver, you know, with both a straight blade and a Phillips blade, so you can get those fuel hose fittings off and get the tank installed. And then, of course, you're going to need some gloves. I mean, you're going to be hooking this tank up, pulling fuel lines off. You're going to get some diesel uh, spills. So carry some gloves. We're actually working on a toolkit, an inexpensive toolkit, that diesel owners can carry in their trunk. And that's probably going to be covered in a later video. And finally, where do you carry all this stuff? Well, I decided. If you get one of these bags like this, now a lot of times you can get these free if you place an order online. They're just inexpensive general purpose bags. This one actually has a plastic lining. And I can put the tank in the bag, I can keep some diesel purge in there, I can keep some extra filters in here, and my toolkit slides right into the bag. And this fits perfectly in the sidewell of all Mercedes Benz, and that will keep everything from spilling. And a final note to those of you who are running SVO or waste cooking oil. Uh, if you've done it for any length of time, you know that feeling, that kind of, oh no, there goes the power, and you feel the car start to slow down. And almost always, it's that vegetable oil fuel starting to plug up your fuel filter. And it doesn't matter how big a fuel filter you have, it can happen to all of us. And if you have this tank full of diesel fuel in your trunk, it can literally save your bacon, grease. Carry this with you at all times if you're running SVO. Keep it in the trunk along with all the tools you need, and someday I guarantee you're going to end up using this. We are currently fabricating this new tank in our shop in Bellingham, Washington, and it is now available on our website at mercedesource.com.